all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying about the goddamn hell yeah league, man? Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash royaltiesworldceo. You dig what I'm saying? Because why not? All right? I just learned how to DJ yesterday. You know what I'm saying? But it's lit. It's lit. But anyway, listen, that's not what this is about. All right? We are talking about a situation that is very serious, and I want y'all to understand that I am taking it seriously, okay? So, once again, I'm going to just put this out there to anyone that has been R-worded. You know what I'm saying? I am um, very, uh, what do you call that? Empathetic to, the, you know, that in general. Um, I hate that. I hate even saying the word. You know, we can't even say the word, but I hate saying the word. Um, and, you know, to any of the victims out there, I pray that, you know, you overcome, you know, whatever it is that you went through in that situation. Now, Kasanet, one of his friends, you know, when Kai had a party uh, for New Year's, you know, he ended up doing something with one of these girls. And uh, she said that he R worded her. Now, he has come forth and is saying his piece about the situation because apparently she's not taking him to court anymore. So now he wants to defend himself in the situation and i'm just here to hear it out and see what happens all right let's get it friend jiggy has made a return back to the internet to clear his name now if you don't remember the jiggy story he was accused early this year by a young lady for taking advantage of her while she was drunk at kai's new year's party well he recently dropped some receipts on twitter as well as a graphic video of the encounter to further prove his point now according to him he said that the young lady was willing to participate in the act he showed a video of her in an arch position while he was behind her and he said that she was awake and she was also throwing it back I was never the type to bring my problems on the internet or clarify anything on the internet. This is ma this was mandatory. I know you probably regret effing me or was worried about me showing that video. And I understand that, but to come up on these apps and make up a story is crazy. On him. The lights stayed on the entire time. To change, like huh? not one time did I turn with the lights. The light control was outside of the room. Like, I wanted her to see who she was talking to, who she was dealing with. Like I'm not hiding my identity at all. I even told her my name that night. And we was in. She was Things riding started me. started to change that Her night. This is facing me. I'm, my hands is behind my head. I All right, y'all. So Voice has a video. And uh, the link is in her uh, pinned comment. And I am going to also put the link in my pinned comment. But I need to look at this video so I can, um, you know, give y'all my synopsis on the situation. I'm not forcing anything. It's literally being thrown at me. My hands are not pinning her down. They're up. She has more time and opportunity to get up. Her knees are also bent on the bed. We're on the same level. I'm not forcing anything. Her her hands are straightforward and boom. She's not sleeping. She said I was on top of her when she woke up. She that's a lie. Okay, so he has a video of him doing, you know what I'm saying, the do with her. And I'm going to let y'all know right now. Um, I'm going to listen to this a little more. But I've kind of already made my decision up on what I feel happened. But let's just keep listening. Like I'm chilling. She's just riding me. Then she goes, she has to use the bathroom. I said, okay. For me, like, I'm thinking it's going to be quick. So I'm I Now, what he's not including, and, and this is what I'm getting from the situation. Say, for instance, you, you know, you go to a party and let's not act like this don't happen. You know, you end up smashing one of the dudes, one of the girls, whatever. They young, you know, young, dumb and full of cum, right? So she decided um, to have sex with this boy. And this, this is just a, a, um, I don't even know what to call it. This is just my opinion. How about that? Allegedly, um, I just feel like this is what happened. You know, she decided that she would do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I'm going to say knowingly. And 
they was doing to do. And she turns around and she's seen him filming it. Now, here's the thing. How they were able to, like, speak. Obviously, it seems as though they were speaking before this. And obviously speaking enough to say, let's go up to the room to have sex. She, ha she only has on a bra. She is bent over. He has one hand filming. And his other hand is on her butt tapping. But she's throwing it back on him. She is. In this video, y'all can go look at it in the pinned comment. She's throwing it back on my boy. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. A, the lights are on. The lights are on. I can't say that somebody wouldn't force their self on a woman with the lights being on or off. I'm not saying that 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 can't happen or that it that being an issue, whatever. She turned around and could see him filming. He said that when that happened, he threw the phone. The thing is, I think that she was cool with doing what she was doing, turned around, found out he was filming and found that to be very, very much dis disrespectful. I do as well. So she turned around, seen him filming, and knew that that video had the potential to hit the internet. Period. I think she knew it had the potential to hit the internet, and before it got out, she was going to call it something else. This don't look like our word, no. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all got to go look at it. Once again, if you have been in a situation like this, I am not being insensitive. I, you know, if this did happen to her, she should get the justice she deserves. But she's stopping this situation from going to court. She wasn't even taking them to court anymore. Why? You know, one would have a lot of questions. Beg her head. She goes to the bathroom, like five minutes in, I go check up on him. Like, yo, what's up? Like, you good? Then she was like, yeah, I'll be right out. Then I go back in the room because there's no bathroom inside the room. You got to huh. walk to the bathroom. So I go back inside the room. Then she she comes back, like, I don't know, a couple minutes later, saying she doesn't remember nothing. Literally, that's how everything started. She said she don't remember anything. But I'm literally so confused, though. Cause how what you're not confused on is her seeing you doing that. She's seeing you doing that. She's seeing you filming her. That is where it's no confusion. And that is where you don't want to say she seen me filming her. So after that, it was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm about to play dumb. You're not about to have my coochie all over the Internet. <laughs> That's what I get from it. How we go from vibing. Like we're like we literally having sex for like 30 minutes, like different positions. She's looking at me, literally like looking at me. But she says she don't remember any of it. Why didn't you tell him that you were kissing on my neck? Why didn't you tell him? And she ain't make up a story and actually told the whole world the truth. It's a lie she ain't night. say. Why didn't you tell him we had sex for about 25 to 30 minutes? Why didn't you tell him the light stayed on the entire time? Why didn't you tell him that you were sucking on my finger? Why didn't you tell him that you were riding me? Then we had like a 15 to 20 minute convo. Like we just literally asked each other questions. Like nobody's yelling at each other. We're not, nobody's fighting with each other. I didn't hear her not once. She never hit me not once. She could have ran out. The door doesn't even have a lock on it. She could have ran out. Like, we're literally just conversating because I was genuinely worried. Not about the door don't have a lock on it. That sounds like that. Uh, and she knows what took place that night, too, but she would never admit it, though. And even when she came back from the bathroom, stating that she doesn't remember any of this, or she doesn't remember me, uh, remember even coming up here, stuff like that, I still sat there, comforted her, made sure she was good, Cause I have sisters at home. I'm gonna make sure she's good, but she's left all that out. She, you know, she wanted to make me look like the bad guy, and I, I just don't appreciate. It. She said I anally assaulted her, which is completely false, because I want to. You did what? Appreciate. She said I anally assaulted her, which is completely false, because I want to know when did I have time to do all of that? If you claim you got me off your body as soon as you woke up, her hands are straightforward. She's like in a diving position. You mean to tell me? New Year love celebration. I was unconscious being brutally outworded by a complaint. Even after eight hours, you were still bleeding and didn't decide to go to the hospital. Are you fully awake? You are in a position that I clearly couldn't force. Either you wanted to do it at that point or not. 
once again, I think she wanted to do it. I think that she was until she seen your ass filming. Hell, I would have probably, <laughs> I would have never said he R-worded me. Uh, however, I would have definitely been on some give me your phone, toss that motherfucker out the window type shit. Yeah, break it. You ain't about to have everybody looking at my coochie. You know what I'm saying? On this internet. Uh, once again, I was not on top of, of you. She did say that he was on top of her. That's a fact. Um, woke up and seen the video. Also, you never not once called me an R word or you never said I R worded you. Well, to my face, at least. And I know after you see this, either you or actual survivors are going to help create a new story. All the way until hey, the baby. nighttime. Please you did say you don't remember any of this. That's when I was completely hospital all the way until the nighttime. Completely confused because how do we go from having SEX for like 25 to 30 minutes to all of a sudden you don't remember? Because you was filming her, my boy. Please. She became oblivious to the whole situation. Make that make sense to me. Why did you take nearly 24 hours? Wasn't wasted. I was, okay. I wasn't wasted. I was sleeping. I didn't black out. It was late and I was tired. Hmm. So, so this let it, let it be known that you wasn't, you wasn't, you was coherent as hell then. To go get a kid. Ain't no way she bent over like that and was asleep. And he got all your clothes off? Nah. How do you want to, how do you want me to stop blaming the literal person that violated me? You could have did anything to yourself at that point. So you if we're not drunk and only sleeping, then please explain. Harm yourself even right. more. You could have drank. No, you was probably afraid that I was going to expose you to the public or post on a porn site or something, and I told you I wasn't. But I got to do what I got to do to defend my name. You shouldn't have never filmed that. But I mean, honestly, him filming it kind of saving him. More alcohol, That's the crazy part. Just so I could look like the bad guy even more. I know you clearly regret agreeing sleeping with me, which is completely. I also find it funny how you use a photo of me from 2019. That was four years ago. Out of all the pictures I got up, you used that just to really push the narrative even more. But you swear it was for awareness. If it was really what that you would show. Understandable. We all have regrets in life. But I don't appreciate you lying on my name and making up a story about me. I would have respected you way more if you would have said the actual story and not something you just made up. What can you possibly say now? There's a lot of details that I didn't put in there because they were just like, you know, I just wanted the story. I didn't say like a lot. She thought I was going around showing the video or I was going to go back about it. So she did this just in case. I know he has that video and I know that he probably sent it to his friends. And that's why I know that they knew about it because they they probably saw the video that he just listen to her. Just assuming anything. This is also that video weirded her out. Her, I mean, it would have weirded me out, too. Trying to make me incriminate myself so she could have more to post later on. These messages were later unsent because I did not respond to them. He could just say, and I know for a fact he didn't wish no harm on me. I'm not trying to blame him. As you all saw, first she blamed Kai, then later recanted after receiving backlash from his fans. I want Kai, so I'm like, I'm looking at this chat, and I'm like, bro, Kai was, I'm just like, Kai. And I didn't mean to put his name. I, I didn't even say his name in the first. What the hell did he get I'm not even blaming Kai. Like, I feel so bad that he has to be involved because I feel you don't feel bad. She instantly so you wasn't drunk, right? And you was just sleepy, and you said that you and Kai set me up to be R worded. Nah, she was malicious with this, y'all. Why did she switch up her story so? She quickly? was malicious with this one. Did he set you up or not? Yeah, These she was photos malicious were with this posted one. a whole day after the party, but no one really paid mind to it. Why were they even still up on January 5th, even after you DM me that? This was a couple hours before she went public. Like, yeah. That means you have to be there all day. It ain't like you just came to the party. You know what I'm saying? Well, I found proof that he was there all day before that because the guy exactly. underscore, the guy underscore Malky posted pictures at that same airbnb that was hours before the party and that photo was taken after the party was already and over one of my friends found him in a that's crazy of the party and in that picture you can see him looking at me like this is when i know 
He was probably looking at you because y'all just did it. <laughs> she was crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to you. And on everything I love, when we was talking and having that little conversation we was having, she literally told me that none of this was my fault. Like, literally. That's what she said. Well, it. she I lied about that. It was your fault filming, bro. You filming that definitely made more of an issue than what it ever had to be. However, in hindsight, I mean, he kind of protected his own damn self. Her own mouth. She might not admit it. Once again, she didn't admit a lot of stuff that you now see. But I'm, I'm saying everything now. I'm not holding back. I held back for months. I stayed quiet. I let people say whatever about me. I let her say whatever about me. Because I already know when it was time to go to court, I was going to have everything already ready. Like, everything was fouled up. Everything was, like, it's not she could say now. What could she possibly say now? Like, I've never even been charged with anything. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but you know what I'm saying? I'm about to keep waiting, sitting back. I feel him on that. Like, letting the narrative live. It's quiet. I let I let it rock. I'm thinking I can hand, clear my name legally first before anything, before I start. I, if that happened to me, I'm definitely not canceling no no court proceedings. Nah, you gonna pay for everything that you did to me, gang. Here. Arguing with a bunch of people that don't even know me or care about me, I'm gonna handle it legally, but she don't wanna take the legal route. She just wanna go on with her clout. That's why I'm doing all of this now. It's just that's why I don't even do stuff like this. As you all seen already, I was not on top of her and she was not asleep. So what really can people believe now from you? You lied about so much and you left out so much. You just knew it would be easy to say I did something to you because you are a female and I'm a male. Oh, yeah, people always empathize with the female over the male any day in any situation like this. And another That's thing, how are you so traumatized? Now, this is crazy. And if this is the, the damn picture from that day, that's even crazier. Guys, <laughs> but posing in the hospital bed like this. That's great. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why did you leave the house so calmly and get into your Uber? The party was already finished. There was no music being played. And there was like 20 people on the main floor. Why didn't you inform any of them? Why weren't the police contacted instantly? I didn't run. I didn't leave. I stayed. Multiple witnesses can tell you I left the house around 5 p.m. the next day. So can the security cameras. I know someone clearly. He he got a lot of uh, proof and, and. I mean, literally no reason to run. You know, so. Mm. I told you to go after Kai's money. And what's the best way? I to really want to know what y'all think. Like for real. Get someone close to him. You knew by mentioning him would just make the story spread crazy fast and much bigger. This was definitely a clout move by you. As y'all all see, she had 80K followers before she, you know, made that post about me. I ain't gonna lie, 80K is a lot of followers. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like, this is when she was going crazy about posts with me. You feel me? Kept tagging me in mad posts, trying to get me to bait in, say something, just so she could, like, change it up quickly. Now, look at her followers now, though. Boom. 116,000. That's 36,000 more followers, y'all. And look, she took healing out her bio, put Miami in there. She healed very quickly to me, y'all. The young lady that's, that's accusing him did take the Twitter to respond. She said, you have to be the devil reincarnated to someone while they're literally unaware and then take a video. Then after she finally heals, bring it back up again. I'll let you off the hook. I'll let you off the motherfucking hook. And you still came back? What the fuck do you want from me, my life? She also responded <laughs> to the video that he posted with her arch. She said, post the audio so they can hear me crying. Dude, I been knew you had the video and i let you be. That should Like, nigga, we can see you in the video, friend. He, he wasn't forcing, and and because I don't want to sound insensitive and y'all thinking that like, nah, Nick, it, it could have been anything because you're right. It could have. So I'm not trying to say that. What I'm saying is I can only speak from the video though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to say it like that can't happen. Like what happened to her can't happen. That's cap. That Anything can happen. So I'm not trying to be insensitive and say, or you feel that I'm being insensitive and say that that didn't happen. But that video don't look like she was being forced, y'all. It don't. 
it you don't, over with. I swear on my life, I'm on your ass. Now that the video is up and the proof is Why would you not press charges? Why did you say you weren't drunk? You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you wasn't wasted, then how the hell you just having full-blown sex with that boy? And why the hell you ain't fighting? I just... Out there, which was the only thing needed to tie him to the forcefully entry into my body that the doctors already established happened that night. A person cannot give consent if they are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So it looks like she's saying she's going to reopen the case. Y'all leave y'all comments down I below. Hope so. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to this. And until next time, peace. I hope she reopens it. You deserve to get the justice that you deserve if that, you know, being the case. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's a lot in that that just the math is not mathing to me. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.